to the Hulk. So today we are gonna do a little unboxing and installing video. Um, I'm pretty excited. I have these two products here. This is the Alcatronic and Dosatronic by Focustronic. Um, thanks a lot, Eric, for sending these down. Um, we are gonna do some testing on the Hulk, test out these, uh, out these products, and hopefully it's gonna make the Hulk even more successful. Because my tank, I'm running an SPS tank, and I wanna make sure all my parameters are bang on, especially my alkalinity DKH. I find that's the most important one. It's uh, like with your alkalinity, if your alkalinity is in check, your other parameters should be in check as well. So your magnesium and calcium should be perfectly okay if your elk is good. So that's what the dose, with the dosatronic will hook up to your Alcatron. So you guys know that I'm running uh, a Delta calcium reactor. It's my main dosing for the tank because I feel if you have a large tank, why not run a calcium reactor and get your alkalinity, magnesium and calcium. Any other little minerals that are in there as well definitely help. So what I liked about this system is with the Alcatronic, it's gonna, it's gonna test as many times as I want throughout the day. It's gonna build me a graph and I'll be able to see my, uh, my ups and my downs of uh, the alkalinity being absorbed by my corals. So what we wanna do there, cause we always wanna keep our parameters you know, pretty much in check where they should be, especially the DKH, cause you don't want those, those spikes and stuff cause you don't want an RTN, STN starting on your SPS because they're so delicate, it causes such an issue. So with the Alcatronic, I'm gonna have a graph throughout the day. It's gonna keep an eye on my DKH for me. It's gonna to go to any of your devices, Apple devices, Android. You guys just go to the Apple Store, Google Play Store, you download those directly to your phone or iPads, watches, whatever you wanna put it on. And that's how you graph it throughout the day. Cause I find it's so important to have that DKH in check. If DKH is in check, calcium, magnesium, everybody's in check. So with the calcium reactor, I'm dosing my tank. Say my tank, you know, it starts getting polluted with SPS. There's so much absorption. My calcium reactor is not gonna be able to keep up. So what's gonna happen here, it's gonna do my test throughout the day. If my calcium reactor can't keep up. The dosatronic will communicate with the alkatronic and we can dose alkalinity in there. So we'll never have on our graph these ups and downs, you know, peaks and valleys so drastically that it's gonna stress out the corals in our tank. So with this gear, it's hopefully it'll make everything more successful by doing all those tests periodically through the day. And there's lots of other uh, test kits on the market and I have quite a few of them, but I'm feeling with the Alcatronic, it's gonna be the pieces for me because what I like about it, so like other uh, reagents, so this one here, this is a four liter gallon of reagent. It's concentrated, so you mix it with RO water. And this here will last me practically about a year of testing DKH alkalinity in my tank. And with the other gear that's out there, you just get the little bottles and they're good for like two months supplies. You can get the bigger one for six months supplies. But if you want, like myself, alkalinity is like the most important one, four liters and it's concentrated and you mix what you need and you're good to go. So now I could test my alkalinity eight times a day if I want and not have to worry so much about the reagent of running out because there's so much of it that you, you don't have to worry about. And plus reagents, you know, they cost a lot of money. And this here, you buy the, buy the bulk, you got four liters, you're good to go. So that's one thing that's really, you know, it uh, it grabbed me to go this way with the Alcatronic and the reviews and how everyone's been, you know, been hooking them up and having really great results with it. So, and what I like about it, it's gonna have the main display on there. I can go in, I can see what my DKH is. I can check out my graft and see where I need to tweak things. And then I just let the Alcatronic know what it needs to be done. It can talk, talk to my Dosatronic. If I need to dose a little more alkalinity just to get over that curve, we're good to go. So that's the great thing about the automation on the Alcatronic. So let's just, uh, we're gonna jump in here, see what's all in the box. And then we're gonna take everything into the Hulk's uh, leg support system room. We're gonna mount these babies on the wall. We're gonna get all the lines run. And then it's about setting up your Alcatronic on your app and make sure everything's bang on and we can start testing throughout the day. And I'll make posts on all my social media how everything is uh, taking place for all the readings on the, the Alcatronic. So I'm pretty excited. And plus they are, like these guys never stop making gear and they're coming out with a Massatronic. So the Massatronic, it's gonna do all like your, your nitrate, your phosphate testing, and then you have your calcium, calcium and uh, magnesium. Everything, these guys have the whole kit and caboodle they call it that are coming out and they're all gonna be able to communicate and talk to each other. So that's pretty sweet. So let's dig in, let's see what's in the box and then we're gonna go in the life support system room and we're gonna hook this up. 
So I just want to show you quick. So here, there's the app, it's on my iPad. Um, I already programmed my serial number from the Alcatronic in here, so we're all ready to go. You just hit new device, put everything in there. So as soon as I get this online, Wi-Fi turned on, we can go a little further. So let's keep digging in here. So let's start off with the Alcatronic, well, what's in the box. So let's open this baby up. It's really packed as well, great boxing and lots of foam. So there's the unit, very sleek, nice, got a nice finish on it. And it comes with everything you need here. It comes with a, a Wi-Fi plug-in. We'll get to that eventually. The power supply, everything's there. Um, mounting bracket, mounting bracket from the wall, uh, your USB cable for programming. What else we got here? Um, all your uh, barb connections, filter, everything you're gonna need here for our, all the RO lines are gonna hook up onto this thing. Um, where you hook into your power supply and then we have to do all the setup as well and it comes with all the vials and everything that we need to make sure and measure it so that everything is accurate so let's just pull the unit out here put it on the table so if we look at it here we got a nice screen display let's open it up so we have all the pumps in here we'll have to get this all unpacked um, so it's got a pH probe in here. It's got the four heads and then you got it for Josen. And then this is where we have to get everything all set up in here. But it comes with everything that you're gonna need. And it's a really sleek system. So here we got our reagent in, water in, waste out, alkalinity in, alkalinity out. The, the BNC, BN2 ports, the USB for programming, and we got your safety drain. And on the back, this is where you, it's, uh, what do you call it, like a French, uh, a French cliff, whatever it's called, for hanging on the wall. And that's where you're going to do it. So we're going to do this all together. So it pretty much comes with everything in here. It comes with your instructions. You can download by using your app scanner if you want to go a little further. So we got everything that we need in here to install this baby up. And then on the back side here, we have all our RO lines that need to be installed. And what else have we got in here? Another little vial for our making sure everything's bang on. So that's what's going on in here in the Elkatronic. So let's move over here to the Dosatronic. So I like that how they get everything all so they all communicate to each other. Same thing with all the packaging. So it comes with everything you need as well. It's got all the lines. And so here we go, we got the Dosatronic out of the box. So this is all our pumps here. Here are all the heads, all the barbs that we're gonna connect our RO lines to whichever element that we are gonna dose. Calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, anything that you want, you can dose and get everything programmed in there. So same thing, USB on the side for programming, um, the French cleat on the back for hanging on the wall. So that is a pretty simple system. Everything is all compact and it looks sexy as hell. So that's pretty sweet. And that's the four liter uh, reagent if you guys ever wanna get some there. So that is everything that's in the box, guys. So we have a little bit of installing to do. So let's go move into the Hulk's uh, life support room and we are gonna start getting this installed and get everything uh, programmed and see where my DKH is sitting on the hall. All right, so we have the life support system room, but what I wanna do is I wanna make this a feature for the tank. And I'm gonna put here, just before you go into my tank that's on the right, I wanna put the Alcatronic, a Dosatronic right here. So when I come into my room, I have the LCD screen that's on here. So what I did right now, I mounted the two brackets that come with it. I centered it on this wall. I put my raw plugs in here that's gonna hold it so they're solid, right here measured everything out and these are like called a French cleat. So what happens is the Alcatronic and Dostronic are gonna latch right onto that. So I'm just gonna show you guys and then what we're gonna do here, cause you know how I like to do like wire management, keep everything all really nice and clean. We are gonna put some inserts, one below here for all the, all the piping for the Dostronic. We're gonna put another insert on this side here to do all the piping and all the electrical to go into the main fish room and take all the samples. So that's the plan. Um, I have a couple here that I had that are used, it just needs a little bit of paint job on it, but we're gonna place one here. We're gonna keep the same color as the Elkatronic because it's uh, it's got the nice orange and I'll probably paint this wall to make it really pop. So I wanted to make it like 
the feature of the room. So that is the plan. Um, let me see here. So I got the Dosatronic and Alcatronic here. So we just take the Dosatronic, see how it has the cleat on the back? And I mean, so it's all measured. I got it all level on here, so it's good to go. So the plan is here. So if I open this up, so there's all your pumps. So right here is where all the connections are. What we're gonna do, it's got a little slot. All the piping's gonna come here. I'm gonna put this below it. Then we're gonna run all the piping into the main fish room where it's gonna take the samples and it's gonna take any element that I'm gonna dose and it'll be inside the cabinet. So that is the plan. And then we just gotta put the electronic on top and we're good to go. All right, so I got everything all traced out to make our holes. So we're just gonna get the hole saw and then we are gonna glue these into place. And then we gotta do the backside, drill down inside the cabinet here to get everything fished in, all the electrical. And then we're gonna have our main run that does the main sample from the tank, through the wall and into the main uh, overflow box. That's my plan. All right, so I've come to the conclusion how we're gonna make this really pop because I like things to look good. So the inserts are in place. So everything that I have hooked up here, so the dosatronic in the bottom here has got this insert. I'm gonna hook all, um, all the lines here are gonna go into the wall. I have them all colored to match the Hulk. So we've got purple and green are gonna go in here and then they're gonna go into the main room and go into the bottom to all the holding containers that we're gonna use for dosing. Here, all the power supply, wire management, all the tubing that needs to go into the other room, same thing. But I wanna make either these purple or green to match the lines and this one strip of wall here that's by the tank it's going to be all black and that should really make this pop and it's going to look really good and we're going to have all that wire management so i got the tape i'm going to tape this all out get the black paint out and we're going to paint this up and all the magic you know of editing boom all right guys so we have the wall it's all painted for the display and i think it turned out pretty good thanks a lot dina for doing that up for me she did this for me while i was at work she's a better painter than i am and I don't really care to do painting myself. So you did a wicked job, babe, I appreciate it. So now we're gonna mount the Alcatronic, put everything back together. I got my inserts outside, um, I painted them green. So I got some fluorescent glow to it, just to give it that uh, Hulk feel. And um, we're gonna keep going from there and getting this install complete. All right, gang, so we're down here in my cabinet right now. I got my drill, I'm gonna show you guys right here. So I got everything all marked out, we're gonna drill these. So we're gonna have our lines come through the back, our power supply, so everything is gonna be here on this shelf. So it's gonna make things a lot easier to access, plus I only got so much more room left in this place because I keep adding more gear, but I think this is gonna be a great uh, spot to put uh, all the holding containers for the reagents and uh, for all the elements that we go, to go ahead and dose. So let's go ahead, let's get these all drilled out and then we can start running the power supply, get all the lines run, and then we gotta calibrate uh, the Alcatronic and get some tests going on and see uh, how the DKH is all right. Right. all right, so let's get drilling here and get some accomplished. So I just got some uh, inserts. I just uh, painted them all up, the Hulk green colors, and then I'm just gonna put some crazy glue on the back, bring it over, and we are going to put them in their proper hole. And then we are gonna start running all the lines. So they turned out pretty good. So we're just gonna glue those in. And just give that accent, right? So it's all about the small little details. So I'm pretty happy with that. We got the holes drilled down in the cabinet. So we're just gonna start running everything. All right, gang, so I end up, I picked up this tubing so it's gonna match the Hulk. So all these tubes are gonna go through into this hole here, all the power, and then the regular tubes for the Alcatronic is gonna go in this hole. So it is all coming together. If you guys are looking for this uh, nice airline tubing, it is from Cobalt Aquatics. This stuff's pretty awesome and it's fluorescent too, so it makes things glow just to give it that little effect.